Welcome to a new video. My name is Kim and today I will be painting a butterfly. The butterfly I am painting is called a peacock pansy, I think you pronounce it. Before saying anything else, I wanna ask you something and that is if you are not subscribed to my channel yet then please do <laughs> because it really helps my channel and I've been working really hard on my channel the past few months and I've really been trying to grow my channel so yeah it would really help me and yeah and if you are already subscribed to me then thank you so much um please like the video and maybe leave a comment because I always love reading them oh, it feels so annoying like asking people for things like this but um yeah sometimes I just gotta ask you know <laughs> Anyway, I was so excited to do this little butterfly painting. I actually haven't painted a butterfly for quite some time, which is kind of funny considering that I used to paint them like all the time. I do paint lots of moths, but I actually don't think they are the same, even though they practically are. But yeah, I find butterflies a lot harder to paint somehow. I don't know what it is, but yeah only this sketch took me so long i think it took me more than an hour or maybe even two hours i mean i am quite a slow drawer and painter but um yeah needless to say that it took me really long I have been painting a lot of butterflies the past week or so because I think I mentioned it in some videos but I've been working on making new sticker sets for quite some time now. First I was gonna do only two sets but then I posted like a little question thing on my Instagram with the question if people had any cool sticker ideas. And a lot of people said a butterfly one actually, which is funny because I do have a moth sticker set, but um, yeah, apparently some people do find moths a bit gross, which I just find really funny. Yeah, I don't know, I just find moths really cute, but um, I can understand why people are kind of afraid of them. So I'm gonna do a butterfly one for those people. <laughs> And yeah, I actually really like the idea of a butterfly one. So that's what I've been working on. And besides the butterfly one, I'm gonna do two other ones. And I think I'm gonna make a whole separate video about me making the stickers because I want to. So yeah, I'm really excited for them. Even though I forgot how much work it is to do all the painting. But stickers are really like my favorite product to make for my Etsy store so I'm really excited about these new ones even though I still have a lot of painting to do five butterflies and this is the third painting so I have two butterfly paintings left um, if you have any butterfly that you would like to see me paint and turn into a sticker then please let me know maybe I already painted it but um yeah just let me know and yeah Also, normally I would do these paintings in my sketchbook, but I wanted to paint them a little bit bigger than I would usually do, so I can really get the details right. But also, I want to sell more originals in my Etsy store, and I was planning to put the 5 paintings I am doing for the sticker sets in my Etsy store. But I barely put originals in my store, simply with the reason that I just find it really hard to price my work. I am getting better though, but um, 
yeah, I still find it really hard to price my work. If you have any idea how much I should ask for a painting like this, then please let me know. You can also send me a DM on my Instagram if you do feel a bit awkward talking about money. My Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. Um, yeah, but I do really want to start selling more originals to my Etsy store. So if you have any suggestions, then please let me know because... Yeah, I would love to do that. I am also saying please let me know quite a lot for someone that doesn't really get answers. I mean, some people do. I really like it when people actually like comment on things that I'm saying or asking. <laughs> but yeah, here I am talking to myself again. I am kind of running out of things to say, I feel like. I never really know if a voiceover like ruins my video or if it makes the video more interesting because I do feel like people tend to watch the video instead of like clicking away immediately when it's just music. Next time I think I'm gonna pick a certain topic to just talk about so it's not just me rambling for like 10 minutes um, so if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about that kind of relate to my channel then please let me know also about the music of this video um, normally I record music myself it's really simple I'm not a good guitar player at all but um. I like the idea of me making the whole video myself, so that's why I tend to record my music. But this time, it is not me, but it is my friend Meta. I love the music she makes so much, and it's her playing on the guitar you hear in the background. And it's actually one of her songs, um, but just the guitar. When I will stop rambling, um, I'll put the song in. And it's one of my favorite songs by her. I will link her YouTube channel in the description, by the way. So please go follow her. She is really amazing. And yeah. I don't think I have much more to say than the things that I've said. Um, and again, I feel like... I'm rambling for like 10 minutes now, so maybe I'm just gonna stop talking so I can play you uh, the song that I just talked about. Thank you so much for watching my video, it really means a lot. I hope I'll see you in my next video, but please don't leave yet, like watch the whole video. <laughs> um, I will stop talking now, enjoy the rest of the video, <laughs> bye! Gotta keep on going And I know it'll be alright I just gotta make up my mind About where I wanna be And learn how to feel free again Further than I've 
I've ever been before to heal my scars and relieve my pain give me strength to carry on I just gotta keep on going And I know it'll be alright I just gotta make up my mind About where I want